with the Digital Digest and today I'm taking a look at the Unify Drive UT2 Portable Wireless NAS. Now this is presently a Kickstarter campaign. I'll include a link in the description for those of you interested in it. And in full disclosure, this unit was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes, but this is not a sponsored uh, video in any way, shape, or form. So with that said, what is the UT2 all about? Well, I already mentioned it is a portable wireless NAS. You can see it kind of just looks like a double wide NVMe enclosure, frankly, that's just larger than a typical uh, USB 4 drive. It has all of the I.O. you could ever imagine needing. It has its own ARM CPU, GPU, RAM, NPU for AI functionality. Uh, in terms of ports, HDMI 2.1 out, uh, 2.5 gig Ethernet, uh, USB we have both for host as well as for power. Your power button, we have two buttons that are hard buttons on the side of the device that also give you the flexibility of turning on the device's hotspot for local uh, wireless access, I should say. And then we have another button for one-touch backups. Uh, so if you're using a compact flash, SD card, micro SD card, even compact flash express type A, uh, the manufacturer has thrown in an adapter for that. USB type A, type C, I mean, this has everything. And you can do one-touch backups from jump drives, uh, essentially anything that can mate with this side of the device. We have active cooling. There's a built-in battery. I mean, they've really thought of everything. It supports two NVMEs, Gen 3, just to be clear. Uh, and then, of course, LEDs right here for activity uh, light notifications. And as I come to the bottom of the device, and of course, this silicon skin comes off. It's just uh, part of the design and uh, for performance cooling uh, purposes, keeping the device not too hot to handle. Uh, we have, again, two Gen 3 bays for uh, NVMe SSDs. Now you can see I've got a Sabrent uh, Rocket 4 Plus 4 terabyte and a Samsung 990 Pro 4 terabyte in there. This supports a max of 16 terabytes at present. And remember, this is in Kickstarter, so early, early development. To my knowledge, this is the only product of its kind on the market. Just to show you what you get in the box, or at least what I expect you will, this is what I got. But remember, Kickstarter campaign, this is not a finished product to my knowledge. In fact, I think they've already changed the color of the silicon skin to orange, not that that's huge. A lot of software updates. They have a mobile app. Now they have a desktop client. So a lot of things really to round out what this product is capable of, uh, whether you just want to have your own personal NAS for backing up your smartphone, or of course you want something that's going to handle everything, this really is going to try to do it. So included cables, which I haven't really used too much of yet, so I can't speak to a lot of what's in this box. Uh, Ethernet, good to have it. Type-C to C, HDMI 2.1. You're going to need all of these for all the features this has. And then if you're wondering why we got a remote uh, with some batteries, it's because this is a personal video player at its finest because we have HDMI 2.1. So whether you want to do some presentations or just watch content, um, you have that ability. Uh, this is really a go anywhere content library, really anything you want it to be. And then they also include uh, a plug for the wall to power this uh, over type C, as you saw before, include a type C cable. You also get a little screwdriver in order to remove this plate that I already have. And as I mentioned before, you also have a card reader. So uh, I said card reader, I'm talking about a uh, compact flash express type A capable one. And that's critical to me because as a Sony shooter, I need that. And the one that's built in on board natively is uh, a type B. So with this adapter, which you just pop in, you know, you now have the functionality to one touch, if I can get this in there, one touch back up your card. So I think, you know, this really does round out what you would need as a content creator, a photographer, or just a regular end user wanting an all-in-one NAS, a true NAS experience, NVMe based, uh, that can go anywhere. And remember, it also has a built-in battery. I think it's like 2200 milliamp hours. So you're not going to run this long term on its internal battery, but you absolutely can use that in a pinch to do data transfers, wireless sharing. Uh, and, you know, from what I remember years ago, and this is like 15 years ago, Western Digital did have a wireless, a Wi-Fi enabled portable hard drive. And that's very much what this reminds me of, but with everything you could ever want. Again, 
one-touch card reading, hotspot functionality, uh, one-touch backup, I should say, of the any flash media you have, uh, and then, of course, the ability to hardwire it, use it as a traditional NVMe drive. Granted, the speeds are not Thunderbolt or even Gigabit, um, but they're close, and that's really not bad at all, considering all of the functionality that this has. And so far, my experience with the app has been good. It needs work, um, but this is what Kickstarter's, you know, campaigns, uh, all of these early funding campaigns are all about. So whether or not this looks like something that would fit for what you need, your workflow, your personal life is really a matter of what you're looking for. I know for me, I've been waiting for someone to manufacture something like this for as long as I can remember. And so it's just nice to see that this has manifested its way into our world. And I can only imagine how this is going to improve over time. We're going to get maybe Gen 4 support down the road, because right now we only have Gen 3. So if this device can get faster, and that's not to say it's slow, but, you know, some some compromises have been made. It's a Gen 1, you know, first gen product uh, that isn't even officially launched yet, but it's getting close to the uh, campaign being over. Again, check that link. Uh, this is just scratching the surface of what uh, hopefully is the beginning of a great revolution in mobile wireless NAS capability. Uh, so just really cool what Unified Drive has done here with the UT2. Again, uh, anything you can think of, you can back up with this. Uh, and anywhere you go, you can have up to 16 terabytes of data ready uh, for either a RAID 1 configuration. I mean, really, there are only three modes, but uh, if you want, you know, just a general mass storage drive, you can do that. You want RAID 1 configuration, you have that flexibility. And this is just the beginning. So software updates will continue to come. They'll continue to work on this and just improve it overall. But I'm really impressed with what they've done here. And I think the price is around $399. So not only will you not find anything like this on Earth, uh, but I think the price is really palatable as well. So, so far, very impressed with what this is capable of. Again, I've got Gen 4 drives in here. If you've got Gen 3 drives, that makes more sense, but they are backwards compatible, so no issue, as is Gen 5 now coming out. So just be aware of that. Uh, 2280 drive size is what I'm using here. That's what's supported, and I believe they share a single lane. But again, to have that ARM processor, the NPU, I think it's... I'm forgetting whether it's eight or more uh, gigs of RAM. It's just amazing what uh, the Unified Drive UT2 has packed into a single device. And this easily would be a reason not to carry around external uh, storage anymore since this does it all. And remember, your friends and family can connect to it securely. Uh, it's just a really smart device. And I'm excited about this project and seeing it continue to get better uh, for pretty much content creators that do a lot of traveling. I think this is a dream device. Photographers, videographers, you get the picture. Uh, any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.